Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 applied paper. Here we're looking at question one. Helen believes that the random variable C representing cloud cover from the large data set can be modeled by using a discrete uniform distribution. Write down the probability distribution for C. Well, first of all, a discrete uniform distribution. If you think uniform, what does uniform involve? It means everything being the same. So that means that the probabilities are going to be all the same. And what uh, outputs can cloud cover have? Well, you need to know from the large data set that, oc that Octars measures cloud cover and it's one eighth of the clouds uh, cloud cover in the sky. So it's a measure from zero to eight where something like one octars would measure one eighth of the sky covered in clouds. Five octars would measure five eighths of the sky covered in um, cloud and eight octars would be the full sky measured, sorry, um, covered in cloud. So our different outputs are potentially 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the probability on each of these different outcomes is going to be equal to each other. Now we need all of this probability to add up to 1 so if all the probability is equal it's going to be 1 ninth as the probability for each of the different outcomes here. So 1 ninth is the probability for each octa. That's if we assume that um, what Helen believes that the cloud cover is a discrete uniform distribution. So this is what Helen believes that for each measure on the octars, there's one ninth that that will, um, will happen. So that's the answer to part A. Let's now move on to part B. Using this model, find the probability that cloud cover is less than 50%. Well, that's going to be the probability of C being less than 4, because 4 would be half of the clouds in, um, half of the sky in cloud. Uh, so it's going to be 3 or fewer. So that's going to be 4 ninths as the answer to that question there, because it would be 1 ninth plus 1 ninth plus 1 ninth plus 1 ninth, up to 3, not including 4, because 4 would be half cloud cover, and we want less than 50%. Now hold on, less than 50%, that's for the next question. But moving on to C, Helen used all the data from the large data set set for Hearn uh, in 2015 and found that the portion of days with cloud cover was less than 50, with less than 50% was 0.315. Well, let's just grab a calculator and work out what 0.4, so 4 over 9 is. I think that's 0.4 recurring. So this thing here equals 0.4 recurring and Helen finds that the value is 0.315, which is actually quite a bit lower than 0.44 recurring. So comment on the suitability of Helen's model in light of this information. Uh, it's not particularly suitable, not suitable because the probabilities are quite different. So there we are, so that's the answer to part C. Moving on to part D, suggest an appropriate refinement to Helen's model. Well, it's just going to be a non-uniform distribution. Um, that's, that's all they suggest you write in the mark scheme, so non-uniform distribution, um, because the cloud cover will change from month to month. So there we are, that's our answer for part D, and that's our answer for question one in total. They're worth five marks there. Let's now move on to question two.